Hey guys, it's Angela here. After I made this course, I decided to take it myself so I could see what it's like to be in your shoes. Along the way, I realized there are things we could create to make your learning experience easier and even more enjoyable. So in this video, I'm going to share my top tips and how to use all the tools and resources we built for you. The first tip I have for you is to use another screen. That way you can watch the lesson on a tablet or phone and code on your main computer. So you can code along with me and get practice instead of just listening to the videos. Programming is a practical skill, so just as you need practice when learning skateboarding, you also need practice to get good at programming. Tip number two. I created a Python syntax cheat sheet, which you can download and print out. It contains some of the most common programming concepts we'll learn, and it's a handy reference to have when you're doing the coding challenges. You can download this in the course resources for this lesson, where you'll also find my 12 rules to learn to code ebook. One of the hardest things about learning is keeping the motivation high. I find I'm usually more motivated when I'm in the library or a cafe where I can see other people studying or working hard. So I decided to create a two hour study with me video where I'm concentrating hard. We'll work for 25 minutes at a time and then take a five minute break before we get back to the next Pomodoro. Tip number four. When you're learning new programming concepts, it's a good idea to note down how the code works while your mind is fresh on that topic. So I created a coding notes page that you can print out and collate to create a coding notebook. The note paper is the perfect place to write down examples of coding concepts you've learnt. It comes with line numbers and handy indentation guides, which is super useful when it comes to writing out Python code. Coding is not like history. There's nothing you need to memorize. It's a bit like baking. You don't need to remember the recipe. You just need to get practice and understand how to use the recipe. One of the most helpful note-taking systems for learning is the Cornell note method. In our coding notebook, we've incorporated all the key elements from Cornell, including the sidebar where you can write comments on each line of code and the bottom summary section where you can write an overview of the concept you just learned. In the course resources for this lesson, you'll also find some desktop wallpapers I've created for you. They contain some of the messages I keep around my desk to keep me motivated, and I hope they'll help you too. Tip number five, celebrate after you complete each day. Because this course is designed to take you from beginner to professional, as you go from day to day, there will be less and less tutorial and more and more practice. To keep you on track, I've created a 100 days of code poster. Once you complete a day, you can check it off on the poster. So print it out, put it up on a wall and take each day as a challenge. Reward yourself after each day you tick off and day by day, you'll learn and grow as a developer. This course is a safe space where you can make mistakes, ask questions, but most importantly, become confident in your skills as a programmer. I had so much fun building this course and I hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I did. So here's to your success.